Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video on the Give Me Get to channel. In today's video, I'm just going to be explaining some things that I'm going to be doing to this uh, Vortex Supercharged 2 valve. Um, I have actually bought some pistons. I buy a forged crank and then also some rods and they are actually H-beam scat rods. Um, still got probably around a thousand dollars worth of stuff to buy for this car but hopefully uh, i'll be pulling the motor around december or so so then once i get that pulled sending it off to the machine shop and then it is time to get this thing board 30 over and then have that guy build it i'm going to be So right here we have the 0304 Cobra Forged Crank. And as you can see, it is actually in fairly good condition. It will need machined. And also, it does have the 8-bolt for the 8-bolt flywheel. But yes, it will need machined. Um, I actually got this for free. It's about those forged pistons. I'll show you those in a second. But yeah, here's the crank. I'll probably have to get it balanced, everything. But I know this is stock size, everything for a 4.6 crank. So fingers crossed it works. On to the rods. These are H-beam scat rods with ARP 2000 uh, bolts along with uh, some engine tech main and uh, rod bearings. So hopefully those hold up. They were, I think they were probably around $112 for that set which it's kind of on the cheap end. So I'll probably buy some nice uh, King XP ones. I've heard those are really, really good bearings. But no, I know these rods, they will definitely hold up. Then for pistons, I went ahead and chose a DSS 30 over a negative 10 CC piston. And these are used by on for a smoking deal you can tell literally they're still in decent shape and i also went ahead and bought some dss rings that match these pistons i'll get those file fit and everything at the machine shop and then also i'm going to need some uh, wrist pin uh, c clips or retaining rings whatever you want to call them but these pistons mm, i think they're around a 10 to 1 compression for this car so i'm going to make up for some of the compression with the head gasket and i'm going to do a couple other things to kind of lower the compression just a little bit since this is a boosted car all right i'll roll up the windows i'm going to do a little like 30 gear or 30 gear 30 roll probably around second gear show you guys what this thing kind of has saying all but it's probably gonna be making my goal is uh, 700 horsepower but if it doesn't get that 650 I'd be happy with 
But yeah, 650 horsepower on a two valve. Not many people really do that unless it's a drag car. But definitely guys, stay tuned. I'm going to be posting about this car. So definitely stay tuned. Please leave a like.